never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's I right to be in living color. And I was just feel knowing prejudice was obsolete. And all mankind danced to the exact beat. And at night it was safe to walk down the street. In living color. <laughs> In living color You can do what you wanna do In living color In living color Everybody here is equally kind In living color What's mine is yours and what's yours is mine In living color And how would you feel knowing everybody was different From thin to thicker through thick and thin And egotistical trips was put to an end In living color The moon float like a balloon. You see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's I right to be in living color. And how would you feel knowing prejudice was obsolete? And all mankind danced to the exact beat. And at night it was safe to walk down the street. In living color. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Keenan Ivan Waynes, and this is In Living Color. Thanks for being here tonight. I'd like to say hello to all our new fans out there. Thanks for tuning in. We got a fun show tonight. Before I get started, you know what to do. Say hello to my DJ, SW1. Yeah. And to the fly girl, starting over here with Carrie Ann. Lisa. <laughs> Michelle and Deidre. Yeah. I want you all to chill while we get ill. Mr. DJ, do your thing. Be right back. That's right, we want you to to get paid with absolutely no money down. That's right. I'm with Mr. Iceman. Chilling. Yo, our secret to success is right here in our new little booklet, How to Make More Money Without Using Your Money. <laughs> Might well you ask, whose money should I use? Well, who got more money than they know what to do with? The gub mint. <laughs> One of our booklet, we're gonna show you how to use that money from the government. For example, did you know that food stamps cannot be used to buy alcoholic beverages? Hmm. But how could I use that knowledge to work for me? I'm glad that you asked. Let's look at the chart. I go into a store and purchase a pack of beer for, let's say, $3.99, or even less, depending on the security system. And I take it to some unscrupulous individual such as this man right here for, let's say, $40, $50 worth of food stamps. Uh-huh. Now, he's easy to find. He might even be in your family. <laughs> now, I take that money, and I find a little fat lady named Laquita with about 15 children. I trade it to her for $25. What does that equal? More money, more money, more money. So, here goes one of our many success stories. Anton Boom Boom Chino. 45000 in three weeks. Lufa Big Head Jones. $123,000 in six months! Yo, our Mo Money seminar will teach you how to get over like Rover the Casanova. That's right. And in part three, we're gonna show you how to dress for success. Like, check out my man Wiz here. I know you're saying he look pretty fly like it is, but add this little accessory right here. Look that most businessmen just can't seem to say no to. 
That's right. But wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You say, yo, ho boy. What? Yo, ho boy. What? You drive a big Mercedes. Yes, I do. How can I drive a big, crazy Mercedes, too? Well, that's easy. If you act now, we're going to send you out an exclusive Mo Money Valet kit. You just find yourself a nice, fancy restaurant, stand in front, throw on this red jacket, hold up this here sign, and you'll be amazed at how many people just walk up and give you a luxury car. Yo, some of them will even tip you before turning over the keys. More money, more money, more money. FBI, open up in there. Yo, you know what that means? We're moving locations. That's right. Yo, people are just banging on the doors trying to get into our seminars. So just spend $50 to the homeboys care of this station. See you next time. Peace. Yeah. Welcome to America's Funniest Security Camera Videos. <laughs> I'm Bob Saget. I'd like to say hello to my daughter. She's at home right now throwing up with the flu. <laughs> I hope they're taping it. <laughs> oh, we're kidding. I already have that on tape. <laughs> anyway, as you know, we get videos from security cameras installed all across the country. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at a video sent to us by Ali Bahad Kamkar. Ali works at a Lucky 11 convenience store. And boy, am I surprised. Roll them. Just a typical night in the Lucky 11. Little kids buying a slushy, a cashier shortchanging him, and plenty of surveillance to cover the event. Uh oh, company. Gandhi, give me the money. I'm, I'm very sorry, business not too good today. We'll have no yeah. oh, That had to hurt. Give me, give me a chance to get it. Ruby! Ralph's Motel! Take it. Takes a lot to hat that. Oh. <laughs> Clean up on aisle five. <laughs> Merry Christmas, brother. <laughs> Good thing those paper towels are super absorbent. Uh-oh. She could have been a hostage, but her heart wasn't in it. Some days it just doesn't pay to be a crook. Holly. Thanks for that hysterical videotape. You are a very brave man, and here's looking through you. <laughs> Stop me or I'll joke again. <laughs> See you all next week on America's Funniest Security Camera Videos. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the most controversial female comedian, Andrea Dice Clay. <laughs> yeah, you think that's easy to do when you're stacked like this? How the f are you doing? How do you like my jacket, huh? It's the story of my life. I got more studs than I know what to do with. I'm telling you, guys can't get enough of me. They're always singing, Oh, baby, oh, baby, I love you. I need you. I was doing 
the sky in my dressing room before I came out here tonight. He says to me, you hurt my feelings. Well, excuse the f*** out of me. All I says was, is that all there is, eh? These guys think they're built like Damn the Danis, you know what I mean? <laughs> like this <laughs> the other night. <laughs> he says to me, <laughs> He says to me, Let me know if I hurt you. <laughs> if you hurt me. I says, the last time I saw something that looked like that, it had an eraser on the end of it. Andrea Dice Clay at the Desert Inn now through July 15th. If she doesn't cut him off, you'll laugh him off. with that hardest-working West Indian family, the Headley. This is your captain speaking. I'm also your baggage handler, ticket agent, head steward, navigator, tall boy, in-flight chiropractor, and me own co-pilot to boot. Welcome to Headley Airlines. I and my family are working our Jamaican butts off to make your flight a pleasant one. Say hello to your stewardess, cook, restroom attendant, rental car agent, air traffic controller, and engine mechanic. On the left aisle, my lovely daughter, Margaret. Hey, man. Captain says the shop, he says down. All right, Irie. And the rude boy serving a drink is my lazy son, Byron. Come here, boy. What is this uniform? Where's your tongue, shirt, and tie? Pop. You know we don't wear no Yankee style uniform. Plus, this uniform give me authority. Authority? Authority. Authority, you look like Isaac from the love boat. And we all know he hasn't had a job in a long time. Oh, boy, go put a drink up there and, and, and start playing while I take care of pop and jump. You lazy coconut blood clot. Get out of this. Hey there. How you doing there, Tiger? What a cute little fella you got there. Thank you. How old is he? He's four. Ah, four years old, eh? Hey, look at that. Ah, what does he do? What does he do? For a living, his job. What's his job? He's a four-year-old little boy. He doesn't have a job. Four years old and doesn't have a job? Why, when I was your age, I had a paper route, a Kool-Aid stand. I mowed the lawn. I was a delivery boy, a babysitter. I worked in a coal mine all while I was simultaneously in the first, second, third, and fourth grade. You better get a job before it's too late, boy. Give me back my heart, you lazy lima bean. <laughs> Don't get excited, it's just my wife Hilda doing the laundry for her day job. Yeah. Hey, oh, God, I love the wind out there. It dries my laundry in one third of the time. Yes, it does, no. Godfrey, look at here. What is this? I'm out there three minutes and Lazy Margaret sitting down on a job. <laughs> look, Mama, leave me alone. I've done all my chores. Besides, I'm talking to this real cute fella sitting next to me, you know. What does he do now? Well, I'm from Trinidad. I'm a 15 job, and I think I love him. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Uh, excuse me, Captain. Is it necessary for this woman to iron her clothes right here? I'm trying to relax. Relax? Aren't you on a business trip? Well, I'm on a vacation. Vacation for how many jobs? One. One job? <laughs> you lazy 
God, you have some big, great, big, hairy nurse sitting up here in a business class with hard working people. You should be bought there in a lazy class. No, no, but I purchased a business class ticket. Well, I gotta tell you something. You ill gotten lazy money is no good here. This class is for hard working business people. Get out. Security. <laughs> Security here. Get in the back, you lazy go. Lazy man, go. Go, lazy man. Pop, pop, pop. We have to land the plane, but the landing gear is broken. Oh, well, we got to land the plane anyway. Crew, prepare for a manual landing. Nothing else to do, no. That's right. Okay, Margaret, you get under the nose. You and I will get underneath the wings. so you can get a couple of cheap laughs, huh? I don't think so. <laughs> Homie, don't play that. <laughs> what else? Ooh, oh, hey, oh, oh. hey, hey. Can we smash the cream pie in your face? Like yeah. you're doing the clowns and stuff. Yeah! I think you got it backwards, son. <laughs> you feel about yourself? <laughs> totally dissed, homie. <laughs> That's why homie don't play that. <laughs> All right, how about a magic trick? Yeah! yeah! Who got a dollar? I do, homie. <laughs> Here you go, homie. All right, I fold it once. Ooh. Twice. Ah. Now it's gone. Ta-da! <laughs> Homie may be a clown, but he don't make a fool out of himself. Why you become a clown, dear? I guess it's because I got so much love to give. And it's part of my prison work release program. So I got about five more years of this clown crap. Cartoon time! Yeah! Y'all pay special attention because this one has a certain message to it. Mm. Once upon a time, Homie the Clown went to a fancy white restaurant. <laughs> Shay Whitey was the name. <laughs> As always, Homie gets a hassled by the man. <laughs> he tells him that a tie is required in order to eat in this establishment. So Homie says, Man, get them damn ties out of my face before I kick your ass. <laughs> One 
but unfortunately, Monsieur Snowflake didn't quite hear homie correctly. So homie had no choice but to keep his word. The end. So what have we learned, if nothing else, children? A homie don't play it! Now let's sing the homie the clown song. Yeah! yeah! Repeat after me. Homie the clown. Homie the clown. Don't mess around. Don't mess around. Even though the man. Even though the man. Try to keep him down. Try to keep him down. Once he gets down. One day homie will. One day homie will. Break all the chains. Break all the chains. One day homie will. Break all the chains. Then he'll fly away. But until that day, homie don't play. I said, repeat after me. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well, they hold me smile after all. <laughs> Happy birthday, kid. <laughs> all right. Before we go. We want to introduce you to the lady behind all the steps on the show and her sister right here, that's Rosie Perez. Woo! Yeah. Woo! 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 Right here. Woo! Uh, what can I say? We had fun doing it once again. If you're there next week, we'll be there too. So until peace. then, peace.